Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday. It is May 23rd right now. It is currently 12.52 in the afternoon, and I just got done filming a little video. I'm rocking the dreads today. We're rocking the Texas Chainsaw shirt. Like, we're good. The video I just filmed is a little Hornaments unboxing, which I'm so excited about. That video is already up on my channel if you haven't seen it yet. Basically, you get a bunch of cute little, like, Halloween horror-type ornaments. And yeah, I wanted to start another vlog. I wanted to talk a little bit about school, you know, what's been going on with that. And I also received a few of my grooming supplies today in the mail, and I kind of wanted to show you guys that, kind of discuss everything. Okay, so if you guys watched my last vlog where I completely unboxed my entire grooming kit that I got from school, we got so much stuff. I got clippers, blades, attachments, shears, ear cleaner, ear powder, leads, like pretty much everything that you could need to kind of get your kit started. I unboxed in my last vlog and I decided that, you know, with school being shut down and I was going to have to do a lot of the hands-on kind of myself at home, um, I decided to purchase a few more things to kind of add on to my kit and I wanted to show them to you guys. Now I do have a few more things coming so I will update in this vlog as they start to arrive. First couple of things that I wanted to kind of add to my kit, um, not really like you know super necessary but I just wanted to start like stockpiling on different types of shampoos and everything that I got today I got off of Amazon including the next couple of things that I have being shipped to me. Um, but I went on Amazon and I looked at a few reviews on just some simple like gentle pet shampoo that I could use universally on many different dogs and I came across this one and this one is the top performance fresh pet shampoo for dogs and cats and this is a fresh scent lasts for weeks extra conditioners to give coat a bright sheen matches the natural pH balance of pets coat now mind you I have learned like just from doing about a month's worth of school online I have learned an immense amount of information about you know different types of brushes and drying techniques and shampoos and this shampoo is in no way going to be good for every single dog that I'm going to do. Some dogs don't need the extra conditioners on their coat. Some dogs need hypoallergenic. Some dogs need de-shedding. Some dogs need coloring shampoos for their white and dark coats you know things like that but I just wanted to get something to kind of start stockpiling a little bit and I saw this one. This one had a a lot of great reviews so here is the first shampoo that I got I actually haven't even smelled it I can't smell it did I take the thing <laughs> I didn't even take the thing off yet. oh my god oh my god that smells so so good it definitely does have a fresh scent to this and I'm sure as I start to do more dogs different breeds of dogs dogs with different types of coats I will get the shampoo that is adequate for them I'm not just going to use this on every single dog that I do but for just having like a you know basic general shampoo I do have this one now the next thing I got is a conditioner and I learned a lot again a lot about conditioners there's leave-in conditioners there's just regular conditioners there's straight conditioners I just there's so much information there's not just one basic shampoo and conditioner that you use in dog grooming you know there are so many different kinds and I came across this one on Amazon as well and it had a lot of really good reviews and this is the buddy rinse original lavender and mint hydrating therapy conditioner here is what that one looks like and holy holy shit you guys this conditioner smells so it smells so good. It has such a relaxing lavender scent to it. I want to use this conditioner. It smells so good, so I cannot wait to use this on Avril. Oh, shut up. Okay, so on the back it says, Buddy Wash is not tested on animals and is safe for use on humans. Your dogs will not mind sharing. Next thing that I got is something that I have literally needed to add into my life for ever since I got dogs, basically. And it is this little toolkit right here and what this is is this is an attachment that you can attach to your tub spout and then it has like the little thing and you have this this is going to be crucial for when I am bathing dogs because just using a cup 
filling it up with water, getting them wet. You know, it's just like, it takes way too much time and I don't wanna be hurting my back that much. The dogs don't wanna sit there for 30 minutes while I try to get them wet. So I picked this up. This was about $20 on Amazon. I have no idea how well it works. I don't even know how to install this thing yet. So I'm very anxious to give this a go. And then the big kahuna, the biggest thing that I got, one of the most expensive things, is when you are grooming a dog and you get them out of the bath, you towel dry them and you let them air dry, their coat is not going to dry very well. So when you're grooming a dog, having a high velocity dryer or a stand dryer or both is really going to help you. So I decided to get my very own high velocity dryers. I did so much research for like hours and hours and hours trying to figure out what would be a good one. And mind you, I'm just trying to get started. I'm just trying to get like enough stuff at home that I can do. You know, I'm not looking to get like top of the line quite yet. If I do end up, you know, like opening up my own salon someday, you know, cool, I'll spend a lot of money. But I really just wanted to get started to kind of add to my kit. One of the top two that I saw was by a brand called Flying Pig, and they were all out of stock, unfortunately. So the next best one is the Metrovac Air Force Commander, and here is what this guy looks like. One thing I will say is I am super impressed the size. I mean, it's very heavy, but it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. So this is going to make storing it here absolutely perfect. I thought it was going to be like super long and just a pain in the ass, but it does have two speeds. We have the off, low, and high. So I'm very excited about that. And it also came with the hose, which is going to come in handy. So, you know, when I'm grooming, I can like do this whole thing and brush because you know I'm a one man show and I don't have a stand dryer. It also came with a bunch of different cones. So we have the good old handy dandy condenser cone which will come in handy. And I actually really want to turn this on because I live in a town home, which means I have neighbors and I heard that high velocity dryers are ridiculously loud. So I'm kind of curious. It is the middle of the day right now and it's the weekend and you know, no one's really home. So I I don't think it'll be too big of a deal if I just plug it in and see how loud it is. Right there. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous that it's gonna be so loud. I wonder if my dogs are gonna be afraid of it, but they need to get over it because I'm gonna groom them. All right, here we go. Whew, okay, so, uh, so it's not as loud as I thought it would be. It honestly sounds a lot like a vacuum cleaner. And holy gosh, that felt so good. Like, it, did you see how much it blew my hair? Like, <laughs> could you imagine if I just turned it on? <laughs> I don't think it's, I don't think it's too loud. <laughs> oh my God, that is so fucking powerful. I turned it on and literally the hose was like, <laughs> And I did order a grooming table, so I'm waiting for that to show up, and then I can do my little assignment with Avril. But other than that, I pretty much have everything that I need. I have shampoo, conditioner, I have slicker brush, dryer, so we're good to go. But that is everything that I got for my little kit. Just waiting on a couple more things. Hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, little haul, and um, I'm gonna go get some stuff done, and I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye! Good evening guys, it is a, oh my god, it is a little bit later, sorry my face looks very shiny, I used like a lot of glowing products today and it's really, it's really starting to show and my face is just greasy, but anyway, it is currently 6 o'clock, I woke up from a nap and now I am feeling energized, I am ready to get some shit done, so I have a couple things that I really want to get done, um, one is I have to wrap that present. Two, I have to completely empty out and clean out my fridge and wipe it down and organize it because I am the kind of person where I can't stand refrigerators when you don't know what's in there. You know what I mean? So I'm going to empty this out. I'm going to wipe everything down. I'm going to get rid of things that are old, expired, gross, nasty, molding, you know, all the good stuff and uh, get that done. So if you guys want to clean out and organize my fridge with me, let's go.
All right, and here is my fridge after. We have milk, juice, breakfast stuff, bagels, eggs. This is like the beverage section. And you know what I noticed? Like I have so much alcohol. I have Corona, these spritzer things. I have Guinness. I have a milkshake stout back there. Like I have so much alcohol and I barely drink. The Capri Sun water, my lemon water. We have a vanilla Coke right there, some yogurt for the dogs, carrots, lemons, and then we just have another creamer, some guac, potatoes, hamburger buns, um, Bob Evans, whatever that is, that's my boyfriend's that he left here. And then over here we have my favorite wine ever, my current creamer, we have some peaches, more breakfast stuff like butters, jams, same with up here. And then we have all of the condiments like ketchup, mustard, ranch, salad dressing, mayo, teriyaki sauce, cream cheese, sour cream, Parmesan cheese. So my fridge is all cleaned out and that's all the stuff that I'm getting rid of because it's expired. So not too bad and I'm going to leave my bread out so it can soften a little bit so I can use it. But yeah, not too shabby. And then my freezer, um, I think everything's good up here. I have more bread frozen. So I think we're pretty much good in here. And I was actually thinking about having one of these tonight. They're the Dailies Frozen Cocktails, and I have quite a few in here. Um, this one actually sounds kind of good, the Jamaican Smile. Strawberry, banana, and pineapple, I'm pretty sure. Um, basically, you just freeze them, kind of like squish them, and then you drink them. So I might actually have one of these tonight. Oh, I feel so much better. I've literally been waiting to do that for a very long time. Oh, I actually have to put this watermelon in there because we got that, and I haven't put it in the fridge yet. It's so freaking cute. I love the way watermelons look, and they're delicious. So bonus. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Sunday. It is currently May 24th. It is about 3.15 in the afternoon and I just got back from going swimming. I had my first swim of the season. So I woke up this morning and it was so beautiful out. The sun was out. It was like 80 degrees and I was like, gosh, I want to go swimming so bad. And you know, thankfully due to the virus, the state parks are open and you don't need a pass to get in. So I was able to drive there, get in, no problem. And I was there for a couple hours. I did get some sun. I don't know like how well you'll be able to see it on camera, but I did get a pretty decent amount of sun. I went swimming a couple times. The water was absolutely beautiful. And then I just came home because I, I knew I had to feed the dogs at three. So I came home, they're eating now. And yeah, it was really nice. I actually went by myself because everyone is currently working. It was really nice. It was really relaxing. I've never, you know, done anything like that by myself. And it was, it was nice. I got to just lay there, relax, get some vitamin D. Would have taken my vlog camera, but since I was going by myself and I was going to be in the water, I didn't want to leave like, you know, this expensive ass camera out in the open. And I'm wearing my little tiger tiger top. Probably just going to chill the rest of the day. Probably aloe vera, a few parts of my body because I didn't think I was going to be there that long. Like the whole plan was to go there, jump in and come home, but it was just way too nice. It was actually surprisingly pretty busy. Um, and I didn't bring any sunscreen with me because hi, my name is Brie and I'm stupid and I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. But I so I got another one of my Amazon orders for my grooming kit and it is actually this little leash loop that goes on the inside of the tub. I'm grooming, I can just put their leash here and they'll be secured and then I'll have like the little hose. I do have to still figure out like a mat to get so they can stand in the tub and also like a screen to catch all of the hair because I don't want to like constantly have to snake my tub, you know what I mean? But really glad I got this. This is definitely going to come in handy for me. That's what that looks like. Looks a little weird. I know if if you didn't know that these were used for dog grooming, you would probably think it's some sort of like freaky BDSM shower sex thing, but it looks cool. It's going to come in handy and it was super easy to install. I literally just screwed this thing in and just <laughs> suctioned it. The look of my sunburn now the next day. It's mostly just really bad on my arm right here and a little bit on my face. You can tell I got burned. But yeah, I woke up this morning and I kind of like tended to my garden a little bit. Well, not really a garden, but 
I went ham sandwich with extra cheese at the greenhouse when it opened up and I got a ton of flowers and I planted a ton of flowers which I'm really excited about. Over the last like couple of years I have definitely grown quite the green thumb and I'm really happy about it so I kind of wanted to show you guys all of my flowers. I think I have like one, two, three. I think I have like eight pots of flowers outside and then I also have um, seeds planting on like the side. What the hell is that word? Mulch bed. So let's go outside so I can show you guys my flowers. I'm really excited. We have everything so let's take a pop outside so I can show you. So we have these petunias, kind of like a yellow. And then I had to cut the dead off here but these were inside and I just replanted them in this pot. These I planted about a month ago and they're all starting to germinate and sprout so I'm really excited. These are going to be pansy flowers. I have no idea what these ones are called. These are probably my favorite this year, the red geraniums. Hey guys, welcome back. So I know it's been a while since the last time I vlogged. I had a lot going on. My sister ended up coming for the weekend and then I just had other things going on. So I haven't vlogged in a while and there really wasn't anything for me to vlog. And I told you guys that I would show you once all of my dog grooming supplies finally got here. And literally about a half hour ago, I got an email saying that one of my one of the last things that I ordered finally arrived. And this thing I have been waiting like over two weeks for. It was constantly going like back and forth like, oh, it'll be here this day, it'll be here this day, and it never showed up. So I was starting to get like really fucking frustrated. Well, today it finally came and it's the big kahuna. It's the big thing I've been waiting for. And it's this big ass package right here. It's my dog grooming table. I can finally open it up, get it set up, and then tomorrow I plan on doing all of my assignments that I need to do with Avril. Let me go get some scissors and we can get started. All right, I got everything all set up and put on. It was actually really easy. It feels pretty sturdy. Like just for like a little beginning table, I think this is gonna be this is gonna be a good a good option. So I'm going to pop Avril up here. All right, and she's on. Oh. Don't you look so nice? Oh my gosh. Do you love it? Good girl. Yes, you got the 
the rooming table. You look so tiny up there, Avril. She's definitely not scared of it because she has been groomed ever since she was a puppy. So this isn't anything like unfamiliar to her. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. I cannot wait to get started tomorrow. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. Oh my gosh, I feel so like ready and official. Right, we're grooming little Milo today. He's a little Yorkie, about six months old, and he's only had one grooming. I know, sweetheart, I know. Okay, let's get you cleaned up. Hey guys, so it is now 4.10 in the afternoon. I just finished little Milo about an hour ago and he went home. He turned out so good and so cute. I just gave him a nice shampoo, a little bit of conditioner, dried him off, brushed him out. I was gonna do like ear plucking, but I got like super nervous about it and I didn't wanna like hurt him. So I skipped out on it. I got some advice, so I will use that uh, for next time. I'm so glad I got to do him. He's so cute and so tiny, and he was such a good boy, especially for being a puppy. I know that's like a lot to be new in grooming school and to do a puppy. Like, that's a lot of work, so I am absolutely ex exhausted, but I'm super glad I got the experience. And I also have some other really, really good news is that I actually had a grooming salon, and it's actually the same place where I take little Avril to get groomed. Uh, they are going to let me come in next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, and I am going to be able to get some more hands-on experience. Picked up a few pairs of scrubs that used to be my sister's when she was in the nursing program, um, and I'm going to wear those for 
uh, when I go to the grooming place because I don't have any smocks unfortunately so I'm just gonna wear scrubs because I feel like that would just be like the best option but yeah I had a really great day and I'm super excited to be able to go into a grooming salon next week and get some like real hands-on experience I'm so excited so I will definitely have to keep you guys posted on that I just wanted to give you a little update on how Milo did today it was definitely challenging that's for sure but I think he looks gorgeous Gorgeous. Um, I will show you guys a before and after picture really quick here. So this was him before, then this was his after. So as you can see, quite an improvement. But yeah, I will probably end this vlog here pretty soon and start a new one soonish and maybe let you guys know how my first day in an actual grooming salon goes. But for right now, I'm going to find something to eat and rest because your girl is exhausted. Hey guys, welcome back. It is the next day now. It is Wednesday, June 10th today. It is currently about 2.30 in the afternoon and I really didn't do much today. I took the dogs for a walk this morning and then um, I came home, I paid some bills, and then I've just been doing some school stuff. I took a little bit of a nap, and now I am just hanging out in my kitchen and making some stuff. So I currently have some spaghetti going, and I have the oven preheating because I am making some brownies. My mom dropped off some brownie mix, and that just sounded way too fucking good. So I have everything in here, and I'm also really excited because you know you're an adult when you get like new kitchen appliances and you get to try them out for the first time. So my mom got me this little KitchenAid mixer, and I want to try it out and see how well it works. So I'm gonna I'm gonna vlog it. I don't know like how weird this is that I'm vlogging this, but I'm like really excited about it. So let's. Uh, Give her a go here. Oh, shit! It works! Oh, 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 oh yummy! Look at that beautiful brownie mix, boy, boy. I have to take a picture with this and let my mom know that it worked well because I'm that fuck. I'm that kind of daughter. Okay, how do these come on? Brownies are in and the spaghetti should be almost done. What I like to do is I'll take out like a couple noodles. Yep, those feel pretty good. And also it's just me eating this stuff so it's not like I'm sharing it with people for those of you who think it's gross that I'm just like putting my mouth on everything. It's just me, y'all, okay? It's just me. Yum, there's the noodles. And the brownies are, they're a bacon in there. Bake, baby, bake.
All right, the brownies are all done. They look really good. I put a fork in to make sure that it came out clean and there we go. I'm just gonna let them cool for a little bit and cover them up and I don't know, eat them I guess. I'm just having a little bowl of spaghetti and I'm watching YouTube videos on my phone, drinking some water and then I'll probably take a shower, do some laundry and get ready for work tomorrow. I just wanna say thank you guys so, so much for watching this vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I know it seems like I am just overloading you guys with like dog grooming stuff. My vlogs are my life basically, and right now dog grooming is a big part of my life right now. I'm sorry if it comes off as annoying or whatever, but I'm just really happy about it. So I just, I like to share those kind of things. I have a very busy week starting tomorrow. I work Thursday tomorrow and then I'm grooming two more dogs tomorrow night. I work Friday. Saturday I'm headed up to my boyfriend's house because we're having a get together. Sunday I gotta come home. Monday I have a dress fitting. Tuesday and Wednesday I'm in the grooming salon. Thursday, Friday I work and I also have like two ultrasound appointments on Thursday. One for my breast and one for my pelvis so it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a wild week, all right? It's gonna be crazy. So I might start another vlog very soon, but regardless, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to go down and give a huge, huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it, and it really does help my channel out a lot. Also, if you're new here, make sure you go down and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until then, I am going to go cool off, finish my dinner, start some dishes, and just get some stuff done. So I love you guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye!